There we go. I got monitor. Good now. Good. I'll start singing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right. Uh, so first order of business, well, public comment. If you would like to come up, please, and uh, just sign in and state your name and. Yes, my name is Carson Beedry. Um I just wanted to come here tonight to drop off um, some extra funds that I made um, at my Eagle Scout Project fundraiser. Um, I built four benches in Greater Woods for my Eagle Project um, these past couple months. Um, I just had some extra funds um, for my fundraiser that I was just coming here tonight to drop that off to you. So, okay, great. Like that. That. Yay! You want to go? Do you, you want to go over the locations? Just then people are listening and you get a chance to um, do it your own honor, well. Yeah, um, so, <laughs> let's see if I remember this. Um, so, yeah, my first bench is um, off of Red Maple Trail, um, near the entrance of Eagle Trail. And then the second one is um, at the, um, right after the intersection between Red Maple Trail and Gateway Trail. Um, and then my last two are at either end of the View Trail. Um, so, yes. Cool. I haven't been down the view trail. I'll have to see them. So, mm. seen the other two. Yeah, me too. I've seen all four. Fantastic job. Okay. Thank you. Great. And thank you very much for the remaining funds from your yeah. projects and your fundraising. Mm -hmm. it's Good fabulous. Work. Did are, are they embossed in any way? In your name and who did them? Um, the project or anything like that? I haven't put like a plaque or anything like that. I just put the benches there. Um, so. Okay. They're anonymous, I guess, right now. <laughs> but um, <laughs> um, why don't you look into having plaques made, and if there's enough funds there, we'll use that. Okay. And we can certainly hold on to it for now, or mm -hmm. however you'd like to do it. But I, I wouldn't. I'd like to have. Uh, we had a observation deck put in, and uh, right. just you know the scout troop and who it was and the date. Uh, you did a lot of work. You should get credit for it. Mm -hmm. So okay. it would like you know if, if there's a there's a nice little way to you can emboss that somehow with either a tag or or uh, even r you know right into the wood to it itself whatever you, whatever you see fit. Okay. But we can we can do we can I can hold on to that okay. or or you can if you'd like. Um, I think I'll probably just if you can hold on to it tonight sure. and then I'll probably email you and okay um, see what I can do and great how that if goes. you want to. Uh, <coughs> just a point of order though. Um, regarding the accepting of funds, um, so there, they, it shows up as a gift, yep. as a straight gift, uh, and it's also as a don it's a donation of time. So it's in the acceptance of the project is the acceptance of the whole. Uh, obviously, you know, I'm going to assume there's not thousands. I just of I, I assume there's not thousands of dollars in there, but we're accepting the entire gift as uh, the whole project is a okay. gift. So and, the and the only reason I say this is because yep. the council always hears yep. donations, even the amount of fifty dollars. So, yep. and we have to accept it formally. So I just didn't want to make sure we didn't violate a protocol or something. I, we're I, supposed to. Well, I don't believe we are. Okay. No, we, this is this has happened a number of times. When we accept the project, mm -hmm. we're accepting any donations okay. that that come along with it. Yeah. yeah. So I think that's that's the formal part. Is when we, especially yours, where you got. Uh, actually, you didn't have town council sign up because all your benches were on our property. That's correct. Yeah. Right, so oh, our got our blessing. Right. Anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's the same. It's the same. You know, if they have leftover <coughs> stain gotcha. or whatever, we you know fine. We'll we'll take care of it for, for whatever purposes. Okay. Oh, great. Okay. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Really appreciate it. Yeah. Mm. Appreciate your effort. Where's the f where's the photo? Yeah, photo <laughs> 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 We got a picture of you up by your benches. Yeah. <laughs> All set. Thanks, Thank you. Yeah. Great night. Yeah, I've seen two of them. I didn't I didn't get down. I haven't been down the view trail yet to see the.
Let's do like this, see if we can figure out a way to connect it. We got a triangle. <coughs> so that's stubbing and then going back down, you know. Mm. Gonna have to come back up high a little bit. That's pretty wet down there by the water, but it'll still be kind of interesting. All right. Uh, we do not have any public hearings. We do not have any appointments. No statutory advisory business. Um, one new business, we're gonna, we'll be very quick, Renee, I promise. You're fine, go right ahead. The, the new business <laughs> is we have, uh, you should have all received the dates mm -hmm. for the meetings. Steve, that was very quick of you to pick out the <laughs> Monday after the Super Bowl. The is, Patriots. <laughs> it's not a meeting date, but uh, yeah, we meet on the first and third, typically first and third Mondays. So um, that's what these dates are. Our, uh, and then when we get into July and August, sometimes we uh, tend to kick those back a little bit. Uh, so even right now, you're looking at July 3rd, or I'm sorry, the meeting dates. Uh, some of the July, you know, we'll go into one or two meetings in the July and August. Sometimes we don't have a lot of activities, so. Unless anyone's got any heartburn with this, we're gonna post these as our, as our meeting dates. Okay, that's easy. All right, an old business, Home Depot. Renee, why don't you come on up, please? Yeah, and so why don't you uh, sign in and the hot seat? <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. I've been here before. <laughs> Always for good things. Thank you, by the way about the oh the auger yeah mm -hmm. did you get a chance to use it? i was yes. i was away all weekend so i just yes. got home today's my first day back it was and awesome. somebody actually asked me today did they actually come and grab it yep. and they i did. said i i don't know i left all i left all the information and i assume they did yeah it worked amazing oh yeah. awesome i can't imagine yeah. having done that job without it oh <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah when um parker did his project he took the two-man auger the liftable one. Yeah. And I kept saying, take the towable, take the towable. He's like, no, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. And they used it, no problem. But we tried to use it on one of ours, and, you know, the towable is so now much we, easier. We were, you know, we're down by the water, and we're in silt. So oh, so it's all. Yeah. We, a couple of places we had some roots, and, you know, it pulled us in pretty good. But uh, yeah. for the most part, it was. Awesome. Yeah. Well, anytime. Yeah. Uh, digging a hole in that kind of terra firma was. You know, we'd have a huge hole that those posts had been like. Mm. So it was how many? Like Fourteen posts or 14 something. Fourteen posts. Oh, really? That many? Wow. Yeah. And you did it just that Saturday. See, I heard the weather was awful, so I actually wasn't sure if you we guys didn't get came going until nine thirty ish. Yeah. Really. Nine. And it ended up being a beautiful day. Yeah. I mean, I, I think the ground was maybe frozen a little bit at the top, but that actually helped it stand up straight. Right. Yeah. So it actually, perfect. it was perfect conditions. We had a like, nice sunny day. We were in sweatshirts. Yeah, you were like, by noon. But I'm like, noon? Go oh, get him. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you on my project? We're done by noon. So. Mm -hmm. All right, so we have. I watched uh, the last broadcast. Um, I wasn't here for that one. But I did watch it, and you had some other questions that never came up before. So I figured, you know what, let me pop in and. See if I like can last answer. the last one we have. Our last yeah, meeting? the fifth. Was it the fifth? Um, yes, we have the minutes right here somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, the fifth. Uh, and we had new. I don't think you had, had a new one that had never come up before, and that was the storage of the salt sand for the store itself, not in the parking lot, for whether or not we'd use it on the front of the store, the concrete piece, like along the walkway, mm -hmm. which is actually done by the store and not by our service provider however oh. <coughs> okay. service provider said no problem that they would be able to give us that mix so that it, there's no variation from what it is and that we could we were going to store our plan to store them would be we use these uh, plastic locking tubs I tried to grab a photo of it so you could see and they are kind of like a huge um, thicker plastic than a five gallon bucket and they're a 30 gallon and they're 50 gallon, they're all different sizes. And we use them for storing our hazmat in the hazmat area. Um, but we were thinking we could use something like that. He could put it in there, we can lock it, we can keep it in the garage because the garage is set up to be um, 
you know, contain this everything. Is, this is the sea and salt mix. Yeah, yeah, for the store use. Nothing else is going to be it, kept is there. Is that 80-20 also? The same, the same as the 80 yep. mix? Yeah, he's mm -hmm. just going to give us some of, when he comes yeah. out, he's going to dump some in that bin for us to use. And there won't be anything stored at the property other than that bin. And then we actually have a process for how we handle uh, the front and the back of the store, which is we use, um, it's the same for every, it's the same in our entire chain. Um, it is a, um, it's called a uh, salt station and it's uh, basically a Rubbermaid, um, like a, you know, almost, I can show you guys. And it keeps in it, you can just pass that around. And it keeps in it, typically, your bag of salt or sand, which we're going to store it in a five-gallon bucket with a lid with a twist like we do with our fertilizer and stuff in the same kind of situation. So it's de pretty contained. There won't be any, like, leakage or, um, I mean, you'd have to do some serious damage to get one of those things to break, one of those big containers. And, that, and that's going to be stored in the store? Yeah. So there's yeah. not, it's not, there's not, it's not going to have any elements. Nope. No water, nothing like nope. that. Nope. Nope. And, and they I come with a locking lid. It's right. It's airtight. It's it's very um, heavy duty. There's not a it lot of opportunity for for it so to break or. I just I, I think that was probably our, our mistake. We didn't realize there was two two sex two people group yeah, of people doing so this work. So. So just so just so we're clear, you you internally take care of the apron in front of the store, concrete Correct. apron in front of the store. Right. I'm assuming the walkout by the, the lumber drive through. Yeah. Um, so the service provider will go around the back of the store and take care of that. But that immediate concrete pad, the lumber pad, yep. um, and against the doors and at the emergency exits when we shovel them, because we're responsible for that, okay. we take care of that. That's store store is responsible and typically we usually just put sand there and everything that's anything that's stored on site is going to be stored into some and something like yeah it would be either that or a five gallon bucket with a lid um, and that would be so if it was in a five gallon bucket it would be stored in the five gallon bucket and then in the emergency station that we keep outside which is the plastic and that's only we only have three at that store there's one at the lumber pad and that's so that they can mm -hmm. readily scoop it and put it out and then also at the um, receiving end because they have to be able to walk out because there's no way to get from the receiving area into the garage you have to actually walk out and around and that's where we've had the most activity over that way besides the parking lot itself and then in the front of the store at the main entrance is the only place yeah just the bottom second it kind of separates the two on there This, I'm looking at this third de-icing activity. The third bullet or second bullet. Sand is not allowed. For, that's our corporate SOP on. Um, for, I mean, every site is going to be different. What does that say? Are you at the top or the bottom? I'm at the very top. The second bullet. Yeah, it's the bottom section for on-site storage, for our store satellites. See at the bottom. Additional items for store under that. Oh, yeah, so that they all go in the same container. It's like a couple of shovels, a spreader, the things that you would need to put that out. You know, you know. Oh, um, this is this is the ice station. So this yeah. whole, this whole page is not. We're not referencing. Nope, whole page, just the bottom just section. This little yep. section here. Yep, and that's what the the five gallon. Instead of where it says like a bag of ice melt, we which we've never done. We always have a bag of sand. It would just be a five gallon bucket with lid with that mixture that we take from the garage from that main store so just just so you understand and, and we all understand the process mm -hmm. the decision we make is going to be nothing more than a recommendation to the planning board because you, on your site plan Correct. is you know it says no no pt yep. lumber and no no uh other than nothing other than salt nothing right. other than sand so all we can do is make our recommendations to the planning board and they're going to have to go through and try to ch and change the site plan that, that they're operating under mm -hmm. so we the more information that we have to give them like you know mm -hmm. you're saying five gallons or 50 gallons whatever so there would be do you, do you know how much is going to be stored on site the service provider thought that we wouldn't need any more than 50 gallons i find a 50 gallon bucket to be too much for an associate to scoop right, into. Right, but is it going to so be is that going to be spread out amongst three different locations? 
No. So one, one bucket would okay. be stored in the garage so that the service provider can drop it off to us. Okay. And I would say it's this size. This is a 30 gallon, right? That makes more sense because when you think about how am I going to dig out of a 50 gallon uh, yeah, bucket, uh, it doesn't make a, big, a lot of sense. Yeah. I don't create a problem trying to solve a problem. So a 30 gallon bucket, you can scoop into it with a little shovel, put it in the five gallon bucket to distribute it to those three stations and then that would be, so it'd be three five gallon buckets on the exterior of the store in that ice station and the 30 gallon drum with the locking lid to house what the service provider brings us to fill those buckets. So you never at any time would never have really more than 30 gallons of the 80-20 mix We don't need it. Seriously, right. We sweep up a lot and we reuse it because we, it has to go somewhere, right? So we just sweep it up. We've been reusing the same sand for, I don't even, for the whole winter, you know? The use of the salt. Is going to change that. It's going to change that a little bit. Yeah. Because, you know, it's going right. to melt. But we would never, yeah. I can't even imagine being dumping 30 30 gallons is a lot to be yes. spreading out among, especially where if he if we do need it, he's right there with it anyways, could fill it up, and he's already agreed to do that for us. So so we're saying on, on-site storage would be a maximum of 30 gallons. Right, correct. And then that would be distributed amongst five-gallon pails locally locked. The at, three stations three only. Stations. That would be it, yep. Okay. So we're, which... Uh, which where will be the three locations of the three locations out? are the lumber pad the uh front entrance the main entrance on the left and the receiving area that's it and they've been there there now they've been there for years they just we get rid of them over the season and bring them back down and typically they only have sand in them so the sand that we sweep up and put back in it <laughs> so this is you know. this is well six anybody know off the top there Six or seven? Six. Six, seven, and eight are right over by, uh, behind PC Connection. They're right. Kind that's of the like same it. area. Oh, yeah, exactly. But what's saying? Six is, six is the one that's closed. Mm. Right? So we're only using seven and eight. Sure. That was in 88. That, were you, were you around? You were part of that, weren't you? 88? Yeah, you were. Yeah, I've been here since 84, so. That was with the, uh, the VOCs, Mountain. that VOC contamination? Yep. I think that shut down eight. I think that shut down six, but I don't know. We have to talk to MVD and find out. Yeah, that. I'm not sure which one is. Yeah, sure. That more shut down, right? From the mm. four and five. No. And, and I read we'll that we uh, yeah. we approved their storage of pressure treated now because the chemical composition is different. Right. Yeah. Right, the yeah, chemical comp. Yeah, it, exa exactly. The reason that they weren't, that wasn't being allowed outside, was the. It was not just Home Depot was being across the whole industry, so they changed that. They changed that formulation, so it could be stored outside. Because mm -hmm. it seemed kind of silly. You, you don't store outside, but you're making it for ground contact. Yep. Now, you know. Okay, so we'll make up their mind here. <laughs> um, but yes, that was. Again, that's. But again, we're all we're going to be able to do is make that recommendation that it's been changed. Yep. And. Uh, and available. Um, all right. So that's in the same 80-20 mix is what they're going to they're going to spread. Yeah. Do they do any kind of cleanup on that, or is that just allowed to? I so mean, we've never used it, so it's never come up. Well, but, I, mean, I mean, I would. But assume. they've been sanding. They've been just sanding. Right. So Which we have a street sweeper who comes by. They have to because the sheer volume of sand yeah. that goes outside ends up inside. And it ends up like a big dust bowl. You've, you've probably all been in there and been like, why is it dusty? Oh, it's dirty in here all of a sudden. Um, so, I mean, we do have our floors and our out exterior cleaned more often than the average store because of that. But yeah. it's it probably likely would change with the salt, I would imagine. talking I just gotta make some notes <laughs> <laughs> do we need a motion on this uh, I w yes absolutely I mean we're we're gonna have to make a recommendation to um, the lumber we've already approved the lumber story we've already approved and we have made comments out to the planning board they're aware of it and uh, we were expecting to get this done a little sooner, so we're trying so to save all So tonight we're approving 30 gallons of 80 sand 20 salt mix to be stored 
Is that what we're approving today? Well, and, yeah, and they, to they, be used. Well, in the, the site the site has never been allowed to use salt. Period, because of its location and proximity to the wells. And that hasn't changed. And that hasn't changed. Right. Yeah. I mean, I. I don't so, want to, you know, discourage. You know, but no, I, I mean, I, I get it. I live here. You know what I mean? That section, that section of road, that section of road is low salt use. Yeah. So, so the lot is still being s just sand. Mm -hmm. Right now, everything, ev yeah. everything they do up there for ice and slip strips and falls is is sand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, there's no, there's no. And in, in, in the future, out. the lot will still be sand, but they'll be able to use salt around the. Well, in the the what they're proposing is an 80-20 mix. For the parking lot. I guess I, I can make a motion at this point, if you want, to accept uh, uh, the uh, Home Depot plan for the salt and sand uh, mixed storage uh, as proposed by uh, Ms. Huff. You said that right. I'm impressed. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get a memo? <laughs> Nobody ever says that right. <laughs> um, I just have one more question. So the... the well, uh, we, we have oh, a motion. Sorry. We, we, we can still talk about it, but just we have a motion on the table by, by Pete Albert for acceptance of the 8020 mix use in the. So we need a second before we can talk about it? Yes. Okay. Second by Steve. Okay. All right. Any other comments and questions? <laughs> yeah. So the uh, 8020 <laughs> mix being spread in the parking lot. Is, is that just on a conditional basis, like depending on how icy it is, or that's going to so be So originally that's what the service provider had said, that he would do that occasionally, but I'm not 100% I'm not sure, you know. To be honest, I don't, I don't have a good answer for you. Um, I think that originally we were like, well, maybe, you know, during the worst of the situation, but then we're going to split hairs on what's what, the worst yeah. yeah so if somebody gets injured one day does that mean it was the worst then or as opposed to then so when's a good time to do it and not do it i think to just say it would be that way would probably be better because you don't know what the weather is going to be or whose judgment are we going to go by you know mm. I mean. do, do you do any pre-treatment no no are they gonna is that part of what they're trying to do too are they going to try to I think no, we had talked about that last year, and there wasn't, um, I don't think that we, when we researched it, there was a good resolution for that, like if I remember correctly. I can check my email. Yeah. The, uh, I don't remember. There was a lot of talk about different products and yeah. things that were out there. Beets, I think, was right. one of them. Yep. So, um, I remember beet those. Beet juice. Beet yeah, juice, yes. I should yes. have content, yeah. Let me see I think that I, I think the thing. town was trying tried that for a little bit. How did that work? But I think when jo uh, not Jonah Nate came and spoke, there was something about that. It wasn't. There was something. We, regardless of I what don't you do, remember, regardless yeah. what you do, you're washing stuff into the aquifers. You're sh you're washing sugar, or you're washing, you know. Right. Uh, what was the the yeast? They were using the yeast the day before. Oh yeah, there was like a Brew yeah. brewer's yeah. yeast yeah. or so something. So you're, yeah. you're washing something down into the aquifer. So there's no. There's no great, right. there's no one product that's, oh, great, it's organic. Okay, so we're washing organic sugar into the. Yeah, aquifer. and Home Depot is willing to yes. do testing. We're, we're okay with that. Um, it's just the question came up when I spoke to the engineer last week was, you know, where do you, where do you start? If you're looking for a baseline, there's, there's no salt being used up there. So but, right, what but, would, but be, that would be? But that would be your baseline. They were saying, the, like, the, they would feel better to comfortably test at the bottom of, the hill you know where the granite is down mm -hmm. there they're like everything goes down so their philosophy was we'll there, do it but let's find out what weren't what there test wells drilled hmm? there was test wells drilled out there yeah during the construction yeah and they're not even sure if they're even usable or functionable or if they've, they've nobody's ever touched them since they're so around they're the, willing they're around the graffiti and, tube oh is it yeah the cell tower no the the Oh, the, the tube as you drive up with the yeah. graffiti on the front. Hmm. So, I mean, I, when I spoke to them the other day, they were like, "We we certainly can do something, you know, but what is it that we want to do, you know?" So it kind of leaves it back to go. We kind of. I mean, we do we want to do that in the future? Do it now and do it in a set amount of time? I mean. Well, I get, that was that was our original concern. It's like you know, if we can we can do it before you do before you put anything down, mm -hmm. so we have a baseline. And but they use salts below me. Right. 
That's what we're saying. It's, it, that's what we're saying. We're going to have to get we're going to have to get some kind of some kind of baseline that's just the Home Depot because then I the issue we have is it's on the plan. Right. You can't use salt. So I mean the auto fair and, and whoever I mean. Yeah, Dunkins and all Dunkins that all does. This, I mean, yeah. If it's not on their plan and they're using it, you know I I want we got to whatever our monitoring fuel has to be up you know up of them. Right. But even then now we're down to the groundwater. So. Right. Uh, this is just a you know, chasing your tail. But like you said, we can make a recommendation. We can make mm -hmm. a recommendation. I just hate to, ha I hate to have it hogged. I mean, if they're, you know, yeah. you get someone from Dunkin' Donuts who's throwing out, you know, buckets of salt out there and has yep. no idea what they're doing. Is the state have you gone to salting pizza? on a way? <laughs> they they, I, believe I believe that section, that whole section through is a low salt use section. Low salt. So it but, is, but yes, they are. I believe they are. Surprised. I mean, I've, but, I've been behind. But the signs are only when you start going up the hill. There are no signs for salt use up there. No, there's no. I don't. Mm -hmm. well, uh, Continental Boulevard one. is a low salt use. Yeah, yeah that whole that that's there's a whole that whole section right there is all. Is that air? Is so? Is PC connection Merrimack or is it Nashua? Merrimack. 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 So. I wasn't sure which way we went here. I'm right on. I feel like we're right on the edge there. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah, I mean, we can. Yeah, I mean, all we can do is make a recommendation and, and go from there. Um, obviously, if the the not storing anything on site, they're going to yeah. bring it on as they need it. Yeah. You're you're and they're they're following the Green Snow Pro. I think we discussed yes. that. Last yes, yes, they are. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And yeah, is your 2018 plan going to be similar to? It's exactly the same. Yep. Okay. They're coming by tomorrow to tighten it up a little. I that saw my first snowfall there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, what is happening? Why are this? Yeah, they need to push it out a little bit. The sand storage that's. Uh, so that won't be there. OK. Yeah, there won't be anything on site. So they won't have any dedicated just sand No. on site? Nope. So they're probably just going to always use the mix yes yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. There's, there, if, if we're going to say 60 they're, they're going to use it all the time right. 2080 i'm sorry they're going to use it all the time i mean i can double check <coughs> that but i mean and maybe i don't know the sand it says sands storage but that was never sand my understanding of what was there was um the sand was always brought in because it was um it froze so and they didn't have a loader to right. put it in the truck. Well, no, it's frozen. The sand freezes. So nobody, that's what part of the problem was, um, is that they would leave and not come back for hours. And that would be, that's why it's so icy, even worse, you know. Mm. But, but the sand salt mix apparently is something more readily. They use it everywhere else. They can just come here, do us. That's, you know. I could ask him if he's going to keep sand, but the sand that was there, I saw that too, and I thought they didn't, never kept it there. There was a little storage. I, it looked more like what we scraped out of the parking lot, you know, afterwards, mm. like wet and frozen. Yeah. Do you um, go, going back to your st your street sweeper? Um, mm -hmm. Do you guys re you guys reclaim that sand at the end of the year when they do that? When they go out there and do that, or are they just take that machine and off they go the off they go at least that's my understanding I mean, i've never seen them so jump it. maybe that's what that pile is maybe yeah. it yeah. very well could be i can call them and ask them if you want he'll answer yeah i'm just i'm just curious <laughs> I mean, we're, cause you're thinking that you've got you've got waste you're generating a waste product but now it's going to be but gonna it has be load, it's going to be loaded with salt now it has leaves and cigarette butts oh yeah absolutely oh, yeah. absolutely candy wrappers and, and that's what that pile looked like to yeah. me yeah so maybe that's what it was. Do they ever bring a dump truck up when they do it? No. Nope. They just come up and and they leave. I've never seen and, and you know what? Maybe I wasn't there for it. Maybe it, sometimes things happen there and you don't necessarily see it, see it happen. Mm. Just like you renting the you getting the auger. <laughs> I gave the information and off I went for the weekend. <laughs> It's like 3 a.m. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, you don't, you hardly ever see them. And it's only, it's very early. It's minions. Yeah. 
And you're right. I, I like one day I'll see a bunch of cigarette butts, and the next day, oh, you know, he answers my call every time. <laughs> every time. <laughs> All right. We'll wait and see if he calls back. Yeah, I mean, you know, I think that. He's there at very early in the morning when nobody else is there. He's cleaning everything. Right. If it's too much to take in one truck, he might dump it there. But Maybe. most likely he's taking it and that's going to some... They might take it to a shaker and shake out the right. stuff and separate it. But I um, know. I know. You know, it might go in 80 sand, 20 salt. Come out. But when it thing. comes out, it's, you know... 95 sand yep. and five salt because the you know most of the salt dissolves ends up in the sewer i hope yeah <laughs> we hope it ends up in the sanitary well. sewer mm. yeah. so the run at uh, see oh no, that's all right. I you said you were talk you were you were talking to an engineer already? Yeah, Home Depot's uh, environmental engineer. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So are they f are they they're not familiar with their test wells? Um, drilled. They, they were. They're familiar with them, but nobody's been in there. Yeah, because they were they were they were drilled prior to the blasting for up there to make sure the groundwater and the fracturing was mm -hmm. not. They seem to be familiar with the idea of it, but nobody <laughs> seemed to know. Nobody's ever touched him since. Are they, is he a local guy? No, Atlanta. He wanted to come up here and talk to somebody, and I said, yeah, on Mondays. <laughs> I said, you can come up on a Monday. That's first and third. That's how you're going to meet well, these people. Well, we could, we, could certainly, we could certainly meet with them. That's not... So he, they've been... So between them and the... Um, um, our building services, mm -hmm. they've talked to Robert, but the information is the same the same Robert downstairs yeah okay yeah that we've gone like I can give them whatever information and they are more than willing to answer any questions but I think we're kind of just I mean is there anything else that I can maybe get any more information um they're willing to do the testing um do you want them to write a proposal as to what that would look like? Or is there something, like we talked about originally, I think it was like a three-year, was a three-year run? Um, yeah, it was a, it was a, there was a limited time frame. Yeah. And, then, and then go out to a longer time frame if it's not, no, we're not yeah. seeing any impact. Yeah, and what's that impact? Like, what is it, um, like, how would we determine what that is yeah, I, that I'm and that's uh, where it gets yeah, all sticky yeah, I, I would, it, we'd have to we'd have to get we'd have to get someone like MVD involved that understands the water chemistry and yeah and that's what he was asking questions he's like well what exactly he goes because we would have to know like what's the variance that right. we're looking for what specifically are we I'm like okay I'll I'll ask and, the and particularly and particularly and you know they just, if some of those are testing well six you're already going to have a high problem with some of those of those VOCs so we'll have to uh I think I don't. I, I, I want to say this is well six. I'm pretty sure it's well six. This is the one that this was the this was the impact to. But it seems like this has not been there. This has been this has been since '88. Right. When when was this? When was the construction? Um. Two thousand. Yeah. This is one. Yeah. This is like a two. Said. We opened in two. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're going to make a recommendation to use the the eighty twenty mix salt sand and salt. The planning board. One of the other issues we had was testing. I mean, how do we want to? We have to get. We have to get. I don't. I don't even know. I don't even know. I'm not really sure. Wells are. I know there's more than one. Matt, if you're familiar with, there was one. But I, I know they're all around the back and everything because they were really concerned about that neighborhood on the backside. Mm -hmm. That's what I heard that they were in the back. Yeah. Wouldn't, wouldn't MVD? Shouldn't MVD be part of that discussion? Uh, yeah, I would think we'd have to get them involved. And I'm, I'm the trouble is, it's now November and we're looking at our second snowstorm. Yeah. Uh -huh. So I want to try to get some of this get this rolling. Um. I don't know, we got any ideas? Well, I, 
I don't want to, you know, I don't want to give Home Depot a hard time. No, and, exactly. That's not. That's obviously um, not what we're here for. I'm so. wondering, can we get MBD here for the next meeting in two weeks? I mean, is that realistic or not? You know. Uh, I would certainly, I would certainly uh, think that we could, and I don't think we need, even need to wait that long. We could start conversations internally about what what would we what would they be testing for where are the wells that are available right. i mean it's it's more of us just getting back to you with information is to push us forward yeah would mbd already be doing some sort of testing on well, the wells themselves yeah i mean they monitor the well water so could there be a program in place already i guess we don't know there could be I, I mean i that's what i'm saying if, if if well six is closed i can't imagine they're not continuing to test it I mean, because I certainly don't want it to get any worse. I mean, the ultimate goal is to open it back up. But it's only going to be available if it's it's clean enough. I mean, they were what, pumping 800 GPM or something like that before it started to have a problem or right, some some weird values. Maybe that's something that's worthy of being on the agenda, but I don't know. That's yeah, I don't. Yeah, I, right. I don't think it's. Is your microphone on? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Start the meeting over. Rookie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so we can get in touch with, with MVD and find out what, what they're doing in that area. Um, so is this conditional to MVD recommendations on well testing? Or it doesn't matter, it's a recommendation for a must anyway. Yeah, I mean, we're, I mean, we're going to, yeah, I mean, it's, there's, there's going to have to be, you know, trouble is we could make the recommendation to planning board you know tonight and when however they however soon they agenda it and make a decision I mean there's that whole decision process is probably still gonna be predicated by some input from MVD mm -hmm. as to what what is water testing is going on there now and what what are safe limits and what you know again we'd have to come up with some kind of baseline it's mm -hmm. got to be some kind of baseline that we can tie directly to Home Depot you can't just be the output of the well which is downstream of 101 a which my god is Right. Yeah, so much impacts yeah. that. Good luck. <laughs> you know? <coughs> I'm sure we drag some up there on our own. The time. Yeah, oh yeah exactly. Because I, mean, I know uh, saying, you're yeah. saying low salt use on that 101A. Yeah. I can tell you that road is white as oh, yeah. Absolutely. White is white, I, I, get, you know, it. with salt. So, yeah, and that's how it. I know, like, when I come up in the morning, I can see sometimes the salt marks mm -hmm. up the hill. So, yeah. it's oh. interesting. We want to, I mean, there's a motion on the floor. I can withdraw the motion at this time um, until we hear from MVD if that's, you know, if that's what the committee, uh, the commission would prefer at this time. It sounds to me that the whole testing question and hearing from MVD is probably a key piece to this. All right, because we have to make it, we're going to make a recommendation on it. We have to make the recommendation tonight. We, you know, we've been we've been bouncing this around for a while now, so we just we got to make it. We got to make a soon. Okay. Because again, we're looking into us. You know. So I can amend. We're the now motion. in November. Uh, to uh, we can, uh, I can amend the motion to accept the proposed plan, um, pending approval from the MVD as well, or pending a response from the MVD. As to but, this, but then there's no decision, huh? And there's not really any decision, you know, response yeah, to MVD, yeah. you know, so. Yeah. Um, I hate to keep pushing this off, but I think we're going to have to talk. I think we have to get MVD involved and find out what testing they do now and if there is a way to even, you know, isolate mm -hmm. the water, you know, groundwater from the top of that hill. Because even you got you get residents back up there too. I mean, they're not you know they're who knows what their fertilizer and stuff they're putting down. That's all going right. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess if I heard from MBD and they said, you know, we're comfortable with it, then I, I guess I'd feel a lot more comfortable in, in light of that. But because um, it seems like a reasonable plan. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I think we can make a recommendation. To town to to the planning board, and they can also 
ask for input from MVD. So they have our recommendation and and part of our recommendation is to recommend input from MVD. Yeah, and I think they'd probably seek it out on their own as well. So okay. I don't see why your motion. I, I guess I'd amend it then to say we uh, motion to accept the proposed plan as uh, presented by Ms. Huff for Home Depot salt and sand treatment um, with the stipulation or with the recommendation that the planning board um, uh, seek counsel of the Merrimack Village District as to uh, testing, uh, testing of the water and uh, the wells themselves in that area. A second oh, motion. Yeah. Okay. Amended motion by Pete, second by Steve. Uh, any other comments or questions? Seeing none. All those in favor? Aye. Passes six. I'm raising my hand. Zero. <laughs> one. One. Are you again? You are staying? I'm opposing. You're yeah. opposing. Yes. Okay. Passes five, one, zero. And Cindy, uh, an opposition. Okay. I hate to push you off two weeks for an name, but it's okay. <laughs> we're gonna better than a year. I'll take no, two I know, weeks. I know. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Cindy. That's all right. Mm -hmm. You know what? So we'll <laughs> we'll we'll make a recommendation to the planning board. Um, Is there anything that you need from me? Not right now. I th I'm gonna I'm gonna give them this information. I'm gonna tell them that this is you know basically what's gonna be coming again for 2018. Okay. I'm assuming this is the, you know yep. going to be pretty similar. Is that that's the 2017? This is 2017. If you if you have a 2018 yeah, we do. copy. Can I ask you just one quick question about this? I want to yeah. make sure I'm reading it correctly. Let me see that up close. The <laughs> these this, these red our red X's here. Yeah, no, nothing can be Right, so, that. yeah, so no sto no snow storage. Right. But then it says, well, we can if we push it back and none of the, in the fire line. Is that only this one, or is it all three of these? Are these, so are these kind of, is they that can't, no. There can't be anything there, there, or there, ever. You know what it is? It's because when the tractor trailers come in, they can't visibility. It has more to do about visibility. All right, so, I'm not, so what so is this? So snow can be stored in these areas if they're pushed back clear of the road. Oh, so if they're completely beyond the road, so there used to be pile up, is what I'm thinking. There was probably pile up there in these corners. Mm -hmm. But there's not enough space for people to turn around, for tractor trailers to turn around. So if they're gonna, you can't, there's a fence there. You, okay. So your concern is that could they potentially push back salt and sand and have it be up over here on the land? There's no room there. Well, that and also I just wasn't sure. It says no snow storage and it says, well, yeah, you can. So I just wasn't sure which, I'm not sure if these symbols were supposed to be different. No, they're supposed I was to be the same in snow okay. storage. These two in these areas, they push back and clear of the road and not blocking the fire line. Yeah, it's contradicting itself, but. Are, are they going to make you a new one? Yeah, there is a new one already. Let me see if I can get it. Yeah, cause could, this one was signed in October of 2017. Yeah. That's to say, if you if you have a new one of these, yeah, if you could, you know if you could email, email that to me. You one. And if not, they're going to be on site tomorrow. Okay. But there should have been one already. They're probably. Um, I think I saw one. I don't think it's as nice as that in color. I saw one in. Uh, <laughs> the, tomorrow, they're probably going to be talking to you about the 2019. Right. <laughs> tomorrow, yeah. had, I mean, tomorrow they're going to be plowing. Of October of 2017, they, you had the 2018. You know. Yeah. I'll just say, please send new. I know he has it. And this year's. Yeah. So the, and some of the things, if they're, you know, they're, you're saying this sand pile. If you can have them update it. Yeah, have them update it, or at least, you know, it's a little bit more of an explanation of what it is, just yeah, so we're no making problem. sure we're looking at the right. And he had to have submitted one for his bid for this year anyway, so I'm sure he has it. Okay. So. Dated 2017. Yeah. <laughs> no, um, if you, if you you don't need to do it right now. Well, if I'm gonna email him so he can send it to me tomorrow. 
or bring it with him. <laughs> but I will, because we can we can pass this along and uh, make sure they have copies of the notes from the meetings and understand what we were concerned about. Uh, we'll talk to MVD about well testing. And yeah, and we're open to that. It's just um, what are we looking for? What right. all those technical. Well, I mean, it's we look. Yeah. We know it's it. The short of it is, whatever you are using for a de-icing compound, mm -hmm. we want to baseline what it is now. And you know, so if you use salt, you know, so we're looking for sodium. If you're using some other type of chloride, you know, yep. that's what we're looking for. Okay. You want me to email that to you? Please. We can. Uh, I can make sure it gets down to community development and then out to everybody. Do you have it now? I'm gonna look. I'm just. I got two emails since then. It is. I'm just asking him again about the. I did left off the piece about the storage. I want to make sure he takes that off there. <laughs> No, he said the same one. Right. <laughs> All right. We'll have that <laughs> tomorrow. <All> right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that's the same one you just said. Right. Well, we'll, we can, uh, we'll, we'll write up a recommendation to the okay. planning board. It's going to be two different parts. It'll have one addressed in lumber, one addressed in the salt. And the salt will include our recommendation that, that we want MVD to be part of that review okay. process before it gets taken off the plan. All right. Sounds good. All right. We'll be back in touch as soon as we can. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for coming to see us again. Yeah, there <laughs> enough of you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yeah. Welcome. Oh, good. I missed, like, I think it was one back in the early spring. It's been crazy season for us. And I didn't realize that there was questions raised there. So I'm, like, emailing and asking and going, what's going on? How do you? And finally, I finally walked down here and asked, and they were like, oh, no, there were some questions raised at the, I was like, oh, no. I feel like behind it. Otherwise, <laughs> I would have addressed so it back then. Oh, but sorry. all good. Take care, Renee. Thanks, guys. All right. Uh, discussion, any other business? People want to talk. You want to talk about your? Uh, Our, yeah. Um, I have, yeah, so this uh, with the Scalar uh, signage going up, um, have, if the rocks get delivered sometime, uh, could a couple of us just go down there and if Mark's willing to locate those rocks for us and we can just tell them where we want them? Yeah. yeah. Do, we need, do we need to decide on that tonight? Or? No, I don't think so. I mean, I think yeah. we've already decided on that. We, we, yeah. already, we already talked about it and discussed it. We had, um, obviously, we were down at the Scalar Waterfront uh, this last weekend. As we said, 14 posts went in. They're all marked with, uh, I like the signs that, you know, protect the, protect the Merrimack Waterfront. So it's, you know, it's a little stern, you know, no ATV, no motorized vehicles, but a little nicety at the bottom saying, hey, protect the Merrimack. We're doing it for a reason. It's not just because we're big, you know, we yeah. don't want you on property. That was suggested by the River yeah, Network. And it's, it's, so it's a nice, it's a nice touch. Um, we were joined by uh, local resident uh, Mark Trudarski. Um, he's again been willing to donate his equipment. Uh, he's got some. He's got you know back backhoe and and that type of a hard you know large equipment. If we can get the rocks down there, he said he'd go and place them behind the signs to keep them uh, relatively secure. So we're going to try to work with the town. And Pete, you did a great job getting the uh, pictures out and the and the little verbiage out to the town manager, the chief, and, and to DPW about the work that has Thank been you. done. Mm -hmm. And uh, so they're they're aware that we're ready to have those rocks brought down there at any time. So it might be a little difficult now that the plows are on all the, on the trucks, but, you know. Uh, 
just counterweight for the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to weigh them down. They'll be able to fit under the bridge now. So probably the largest rocks would want to be located down the, where the big, down by the riverfront more, the larger rocks. Um, so that's going to be interesting because, you know, Matt got his, Matt got his truck through it. But the, uh, oh, that's, yeah. a, that's, I'm not so Maybe sure. Maybe he'll have I'm not so board. sure they're going to be willing to drive through that. I th no, no, I but th th there'll be a pile up high. Yes. And Mark can take. Mark can take them down. Down, there. yeah. 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 But yeah, because that's Mark's comment is just pile them all in one location. Yeah. In the front, and he'll he'll worry about picking them up and moving them. Right. But um, yeah, we can. You know, you're gonna obviously keep. He's, he's good about getting in touch. with those pictures. He's out, excellent. So. Yeah. So hopefully uh, that's gonna work. That's gonna work out. If I send him an email, he responds. You know, pr really pretty quickly. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he has, you know, he obviously has an interest in what goes on down there. Um, and the other thing, you know, right, we saw casings sh shooting there. And I don't, I don't, we had a few signs, uh, no target shooting before. Is that one at the end still there? Maybe we want to put a couple more up? Uh, there weren't any left. Yeah. Do we have any? We have a lot left. So may, could we put some up? Sure. A few locations. We could even put them on the same posts scattered around. Yep. Mm -hmm. But just below. Yep. Yeah. I think the kiosk, so the scout was there as well. The scout was there as well. And Mike showed him the preferred location. <laughs> so now everybody's on the same page of where the kiosk would go when, when he gets around to it. Um... So I think posting the information, all the information about that property in that kiosk is going to be paramount. Yeah, it won't be till spring now. Right. right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so do we maybe want to do a makeshift? What do you mean? Ask her, um, information? Oh, we tried that once. Yeah, yeah right. really, we did. And there's there, yeah. there, there someone's... Someone's gift to someone else here. I got you a sign, dude. We can get the rocks and a, and a few no shooting signs down there. I mean, yeah, I, I think that would be a good start. Yeah. I, I can definitely go bring some signs down there and, and put them up. You just don't drive through that public, can aren't you? Yeah, well, you know, when, you, when you've got an <laughs> off road truck like mine, <laughs> if you could do that on your bike, <laughs> you can put the signs in the pack of your drill. <laughs> Yeah, I could, I'd be glad to do that, no problem. And then, uh, yeah, I'd, I'd be glad to, as soon as I find out the rocks are there, I'll tell Mark and find out when yep. he can do it. Yep. I didn't hear back from, uh, I, I'm sure DPW was eyeing that storm and probably not, uh, I think the rocks are probably low on their list right yeah. now. <laughs> yeah, we got, we got stuff. I can, uh, I, I can follow up with Kyle and, and find out what, because uh, I think he was the one that, he was the one that started it. I don't think it was Lori. I think it was Kyle that we were talking to originally about that. Yeah, and the, so. and the town manager, if you saw in the email, the town manager approved uh, yes. the Over time. expenditure of some OT to get it done. So Yeah, it's great to have the cooperation from the town like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. very happy, very happy about that. So. Well, really, every place we put a target, I mean, we put a post, <laughs> is on town property. Pretty much, yeah. Every, yeah. every single yeah. one. Every single one. Yeah, I would. That's yeah. all town property. Yeah. None of that is our property. Our yeah. property is the backside of it. Yeah, yeah, is south. Yeah. And some of them might be close up top. Yeah, right. It's all in town property. Yeah. 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 I mean, we have some that we wanted to put up there, but it, the weather conditions were weren't we weren't going to get that <laughs> we weren't going to get that auger up but there in the snow. That can that can be a beautiful property someday. It, you know the 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 good thing about when we were there on Saturday, we didn't see anybody come down on Saturday morning. We were there from nine to noon. So the one car that backed up. Oh. That was uh, that was the guy that you talked to. He was hunting. Was there another one? No, no, no. The guy that came under the bridge, saw us, and just backed yeah, back right up. Was, I oh, think that I was saw a little it. tiny. <laughs> that was a little tiny car. <laughs> Maybe they checked our calendar. They knew we were going to be there. Then, so. Maybe. And then you saw Mark Todarski in the email said that uh, like six trucks, yep. six went down there, and he turned right called the police. Around. And before they could get there, they turned around. Yeah. So he thought that was a good sign. 
No, no pun intended. Yeah. Right. <laughs> we also saw quite a few people down there walking their dogs. Yep. And somebody going down there to, to hunt. Wildlife. Yeah, and a lot of wildlife. So, I mean, we were... That's a big hawk. Yeah. That's big. That was the biggest. Big I don't know, like eagle size. <laughs> Glad none of us went down there alone yeah. to put those signs up, because that hawk was big enough to... That's the biggest hawk I've ever human. seen. <laughs> but, no, yeah, it, it, was, it was good to see people there dog walking and, yeah. you know... Mm-hmm other people there and the flyers weren't there but they're there often so i think we're we're at the point of a shift and if we can just get more dog activity, walkers yeah. more yeah. activity down there and, and you know with with the tearing up and the shooting that scares people away for sure yep. yeah yep. absolutely and if we can get rid of all that more people are going to come down there for the right reasons yeah. and and we'll be able to protect that riverfront at the same time and, uh, you know, I think w- one of our priorities, once we have things going in the right direction, is to get that, or one of our priorities should be, just my opinion, um, getting that old bridge, that old rock yeah, bridge, exposed, rehabbed and, and exposed. Because all we have to yeah. do is get rid of some of those invasives that are around it, and you're going to be able to see it from the other bridge. Right. I mean, that's a beautiful, that thing was probably a carriage road back in the... Historical might want to get, yeah. you know... Definitely. Look at that. Uh, Anita? They're, Anita. Downsta- they're downstairs yeah. right now. Yeah. Are they? Yeah. They're in their meeting now? Yeah. So Anita is showing interest in what's going on there. Yeah, I think Krieger. that's... Uh, they're downstairs in our other room. <laughs> that should be a, something because that can connect to the trail that goes up there, and that, that should be a trail that gets rehabbed and taken care of because that's a good, that's right. a good trail. Yeah. You c- and you could have a chill going right from the... You could do like a walkway historical thing going right from Matthew Thornton gravesite right down to to you know the ferry. Totally. Yeah. Yep. Well, it's helped that we designate this area as no hunting. Uh, this person going somewhere else because if this is a park, the, the not a lot of hunt in the park. The our portion of it is no firearms, no discharge, mm-hmm. air power, or otherwise. We put that in the deed. That's what I thought. Yeah. But the town portion is regulated by. The yeah, well, the hunters are not going to. Well, wouldn't they? Hunts. And I don't. I guess I got to research Glar Waterfront in particular. But wouldn't that fall under the rest of our park rules, as far as uh, the town's park rules? I don't know if that's designated the the town section of it. Mm-hmm. I don't know its designation, if it's the park. I mean, it's the boat landing. And it's, I don't know if it's ever really been considered anything other than the boat landing. I know Fish and Game's been down there, yeah. and they have not told the hunters to leave. Yeah. So probably about, I don't know, 60, 70 feet south of the boat landing. That's when the scalar starts. Yeah. And it goes up high, goes low and high. Yeah. The, so st- the stream. Probably shortly after the last sign that we put up. That would probably be where our property starts. And yeah, it kind of comes up with like a little key, and then yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, they're, they're they're fit together like a little wedge. I mean, they're kind of you can you can you can cross straight across town property and cross Scala property to the Merrimack at some point. It's a little yeah. weird little cut. So, but that's part of that chapter one eleven work too. Is th- those those parcels are going to be identified and managed and you know contiguous parcels are going to be identified and managed in a, in a common way but until that is active in chapter 111 you know no one's really got a lot of yeah. authority yeah and once it's set in ordinances right. then there's there could be local penalties and enforcement and so forth right. okay well good thank you guys all for your help that was great I'm glad we got that mm-hmm. done Um, anything else? No. no? Okay. I'm, I'm curious about the Eagle Scout project. You said there are new Eagle Scout projects? Are there new ones? Or do you want to say anything Cover at this time? Cover that under the subcommittee update? Okay. Okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs>
that oh, I'm impatient. Yeah, keeping this suspense <laughs> yeah. going. Right. Unfortunately, Gina's uh, Gina had to had to cut out tonight. She's uh, <laughs> they're going to get her daughter, and she they obviously can't do it tomorrow, so they're they're hustling up there tonight to get her tonight. So she's not going to be available for uh, our update or the chapter 111 update. And she and Tim did some work, and uh, so we're going to have to wait till next meeting to get that information. But other subcommittee information? So uh, Wasserman, mm -hmm. no subcommittee, but um, when you guys did the walk, was the kiosk up? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. All right. So nothing was in it, but it was up. Yeah. Yeah. Looks great. The only question I have is, um, can we get one of those maps yeah. printed on that board like we did for the other par parcels? Um, yes, we can. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to. Uh, yes. Yeah, I mean, uh, there may be a cost associated with it because, I mean, I know before they, they laid it out so they could use basically one and cut it all and print it all at once. Um, I don't know if doing one is that might incur a cost but yes of course we can yeah I think we should because we got a nice map printed and we it's nowhere yeah. and we didn't print any small copies of it so I think we should do that as well okay and then get a map box and get that out okay I'm also interested about doing some research and maybe finding a really good map box solution because the mailbox things yeah, they're not great, they're, not great. <laughs> <laughs> there's got to be something better and you know for a minimal cost difference I think it'd be worth doing some research yeah, there's, there's probably something made exactly for that purpose. Exactly, because mm -hmm. I know uh, I, I spoke with Newt, um, and he said the last time that he was there to put some maps in at, at the Horse Hill, at the Amherst Road, because people had been instructed to put their maps back after they were done, yep. what had happened is you know, when you use a map, they get all crunchy, fold it yeah. up. Yeah. So people were putting them back, and then it was keeping the door open. Get wet. So they got they all got wet. And you know, when we did have some torrential rain this fall, but it's like they were all wet, and the colors, and it was none of them were readable. So the last, you know, chunk that he put in there, <laughs> were all ruined mm -hmm. because of that. I just think there's got to be some better solution out there. And for that one, there's, there's a better location. It, it's hung on like the top right. And there's a, you know, there's an overhang there that's like, it's got like four feet of overhang at some point. We need to put the map box there. So even if yeah. it is wide open, it doesn't get wet. I would think it'd be like a flat mailbox type of thing. Yeah, maybe something that has a really long cover yeah. and exposes, you know, the maps in a more, you know, user-friendly manner. Yeah. Uh, I'll do some research and see what I can find. I'm sure, I'm sure somebody makes something that's good. And I'll bring that research back with me to the next meeting. Okay. Keep going. Oh yeah. So, uh, <laughs> Greater Woods, um, we had we had quite a few eco projects yes. um, that are now completed. Um, I think we've already talked about Jack's uh, observation deck on the school loop. Yeah. If you continue on into the property on Gateway Trail, you come to a pond on the left-hand side just after Wildlife Opening One. There's now a bench there. Um, Carson, who gave us the donation, um, he was the scout that did that did that uh, that was one of four benches the other one is just as you go down red maple trail out of wildlife opening one on the left hand side right before the drilled rock trail there's a high area that overlooks a, a pond um, he even trimmed around to you know to take the little pine trees out of the way so that 
the view now exists right in there. Um, now that the leaves fell, it's it's be that's a beautiful view. Mm -hmm. um, then you continue on Gateway back by the bench, and um, you hit the view trail. And at either end of the view trail, there's a bench. And uh, he oriented the very nice. Um, in fact, from the bench that overlooks the lower um, pond, so the left fork of uh, the view trail, you can look over at the observation deck that uh, one of the Parker boys built off of BB Lane. You can actually like look across and from the view trail, you can see that one. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Clear, you're, clear. You're right there. Huh? Yeah. So it's kind of neat to you know see the right. projects almost in sight distance of each other. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so that covers all his of his four benches, um, and the last uh, the last project is the outdoor classroom. Drum roll. Yeah, which. Um, can't even imagine the amount of hours that went into that project. You guys haven't seen it. I really recommend you go down there. Just go park. Yeah, go, it's a, go park at the end. It's of a minute walk. The and just walk across the bridge. Walk up there. It's like real simple. I go up to the school if you're if, if it's out of out of school session. It, he did a great job. He yeah. really did. It's, it's a it's a built structure. There's structure in there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's it's impressive. Yeah. It's impressive. If you hired a contractor to do that, yeah, you would be impressed. And this is an Eco Scout project that is just very, very detailed and good. Yeah, it's he did a nice job. Great job. I don't think I've ever been as impressed with a scout project as when I saw that. Mm -hmm. I, I saw it and it was he the, the last couple benches were still curing. He had all the like the um, like what, what you normally know, see for like a chalk line. He had everything lay, laid out perfect. So that it was just, just absolutely level, and once everything cured, he pulled all that stuff down, took all the trash away, got rid of all the old benches. You can't even see any of the old stuff. Did he get? He took the logs and stuff, and everything out of there. Took too? the logs, wow. took all the the right. nails, the big spikes out of them, and just everything's gone. It's just completely clean. It's amazing. Yeah. yeah. That's great. Yeah. Amazing <laughs> job. Yeah. Yeah, so all of our scout projects for the year are uh, wrapped up. Pretty much wrapped up, yeah. Yeah. Good. I'm trying to see if I had some, I had some pictures. I thought I had pictures of the benches. Let me just see. I don't have any new ones. I could have sworn I took some. Yeah. <laughs> if you if you if you have a chance to go look, it's oh. it's worthwhile. It's really uh that's one of his benches. He did a great job. And then the classroom. Oh wow. And again again, Matt, if you could if, if you have a chance to talk to him, we'd just you know, love to have a plaque or something. You know, it, he, he did a great job. Mm. Yeah, that looks so great. I know they have traditionally Yeah, I know not wanted to do plaques, the the whole entire family. Yeah, but even if it just says, you know, even if it just says scout project, just so people know it's a scout project mm -hmm. and the troop it's from or something, you know, just, I, I, I know, I know they're not doing it for, they're not doing it to, for their own little rah-rah, but I'd like other people to know that that's where that, that kind of thing came from. Yeah. You know? Whenever, whenever I, people are walking out there, I'll, I'll tell them, this is, this was an Eagle Scout project. Yeah. You know, this <laughs> would be, yeah. and they'll be like, wow. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. I almost think that next, you know, next spring, summer, we should have one of our meetings there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? Absolutely. We'll get... Uh, Bug spray. Yeah, we'll see Bug if... Spray. <laughs> get somebody with their phone. We'll see <laughs> if they can port, come come and uh, set up a portable video for the meeting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, we'll, have to, yeah. we'll have to wear mics. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is that for Greater Woods? Okay. Yeah, that's it for Greater Woods. And we have a meeting next Tuesday, week week from tomorrow. Okay. That uh, is will be agended tomorrow. All right. Week from tomorrow. The 27th. Oh, yeah. I get that. 
Jessica. Cool. Thank you. We haven't had any meetings for Horse Hill, but I do need maps. <laughs> Speaking of I think, maps. yeah. Did we, what did we just, did we decide what we're going to do? Did we do? Did we talk about that? We talked, talked about, about it, talked about but I don't think we came with a firm. Yeah, I hadn't gotten the call yet. Last time we talked about it, now I've gotten the call that we <laughs> need more maps. So, <laughs> yeah. Maybe we can coordinate and get <laughs> yeah. maps mm -hmm. for Horse Hill, mar maps for Wasserman, and the, mm -hmm. the thick mm -hmm. board for Wasserman. I'm, I'm going to need more maps for BB next time I see you, probably. I have I have more Greater Woods maps. I still have some more. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't go through them fast. You're but certainly, and uh, any, you guys certainly welcome to hold them. I don't need to be holding them. <laughs> you can certainly, certainly take them. But they, uh, they go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought we got some for Wasserman. Did we just not get as many, or they put? We do have some for Wasserman. We just don't have anywhere to put them. Oh, okay. I gave a bundle t to Matt. He had them in the office. Oh, okay. In the this office. summer. No, you talking about the big ones, the hard ones. No, no, just no the, just the, just I didn't know if we ones. needed just the regular size. But yeah. I thought we got, I thought we got hard ones of all the properties. We didn't get hard ones. All but that, because we didn't have anywhere to put it. I didn't see anything. In Unless you have one. I thought we did. Mm. If you have one. No, no one figured me if I'm where I put them last time. I moved them somewhere so I'd know where they were. <laughs> that was a good <laughs> plan. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, We have some momentum with Scalar. We have we have uh, we we made it official to have a Subcommittee. subcommittee. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I got. You want I to mean, try starting one? I yeah. Uh, I mean, I've already. I, I mean, like so I said, I've already. Okay, I only have two people that are interested. <laughs> we recruited one. Who? On Saturday. Well, Mark's always been interested. No, the no the. the the uh, dog walker. Dog walker. You did? The wife. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't even. I wasn't aware of that. Yeah. The wife was. She wants oh, to. She's yeah. willing. She wants. To, she wants to be part of that. She was very excited about the, the fact that people learned to be. Uh, oh, we'll get. Did you get her name and number? I do. Oh, yeah. Send it to me. We'll do. Yeah. And we do yeah. have. Uh, there's another guy that is, actually a local local guy. He's an environmental engineer that is, is interested. Wants to know that, more. Wants to know more about. Two more would be five. Exactly. So that could happen. So. I give me those names. Yeah. Because you're, you're, you know you're going to be voted as ex officio, so. <laughs> <laughs> I know. He's got, he's got property right behind his house, and so he's going to drive across town to go walk. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, anything else for... Uh, I, j I just have a question. Did they have that UNH bird walk? Did that happen? Uh, I, I, I don't know. I don't know for sure whether it happened or not. It snowed and everything, so I don't know. Uh. Yeah, um, um, I'll, I'll hear back, I'm sure, soon. Yeah, uh, if they had to reschedule it, we can, you know, let people know about it. Yeah. Um, all right. Any other some comments? No? Did everyone get a chance to go over the minutes, or? Make a motion to approve the minutes for November 5th with Cindy's <laughs> amendments. Second. <laughs> All right, motion by Matt, second by Cindy. All right, why don't you lead us off, Cindy? Okay. I, I didn't have that many. No, I did not either. <clears throat> Um, on page two, <coughs> row three, four, just out of the <coughs> bank, bless you, mm -hmm. on top of the bank. Mm -hmm. On page three, line 33, just add a period at the end of walkout. <coughs> bless you. Bless you, Pete. And Cindy, I'm sorry, could you go back to your very first one? Line, you said line four? Oh. 24. Oh, 24. 
Yeah, on 24. So a 100 year floodplain is associated with the top of the bank. Where is this? Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, and then on page 8, row 21. Um, where it says member Petrides, should that be subcommittee member Liz Petrides? That's her name, Liz, right? Just usually we have full names for the subcommittee members. Um. It's, it's Liz, right? I'm pretty Liz. sure it's Liz. Uh, and then row 25, change as to was. And that's all I had. All right. Anyone? Any other comments, questions, corrections? I um, I know Saturday, Dave, you asked if I would look up uh, oh. <laughs> Thank you. I know Saturday you asked if I would uh, uh, look up some laws regarding sure. what sure. possible penalties or violations. I don't know if you want to talk about them now or do uh, well put it off for another time. We have a motion standing for the minutes. Why don't we finish this first? Oh, okay. I thought you made comments. Yeah. Okay, sorry. Oh. Well, the comments oh. about the comments regarding this. Comments yeah, right. I yeah. jumped. I jumped. Yeah. Nope, ahead, that's fine. So. <laughs> All right. So no more comments about the minutes. No more corrections. So all those in favor? Passes. Abstain. Wasn't all right. Five zero one. Abstaining. Matt's gonna abstain. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, so we can go into uh, commissioner comments. We have no more members of the public. Um, yeah, if you want, you want to talk about it real quick. That would be that be helpful. Just so we. Well, I, I I know what led to our conversation was as we walked the square property. I think we all talked in a uh, in a group as to what the possible penalties or enforcement. Um, Right. would be and my background in law enforcement um, I, I, I had a chance to deal with a couple of these cases I know in one situation they cited uh, the dredging laws under chapter 482 a um, and the, the purpose of these laws are to protect and preserve um, wetlands as well as tidal and freshwater um, areas as well um, and based upon that uh, anybody who would fail to do so or purposely damage these properties could be charged uh, with a misdemeanor uh, and or civilly uh, or receive a civil penny of up to about $10,000 um, and be required to uh, pay for the um, um, uh, reparations to the property. So uh, is, is this simply, you know, someone driving through a wetlands? So, the, and this is just the situation I had several years back was an individual with a large four-wheel vehicle, uh, a pickup truck, mm -hmm. and he went rolling through, I want to say it was some section of Horse Hill that was wetlands, and created ruts and so forth. Um, and one member of the commission, I think, uh, reported it, and uh, we were able to obtain the license and identify the individual, and we charged him. So that, that is the chargeable offense. So that's, that, that's one. Um, also, under the OHRV laws uh, and trails, under 215-A, 70 colon 6, um, it cites as unlawful to operate any OHRV so as to endanger any person or damage any property. Now, I guess you'd have to determine, you know, if somebody, you know, takes their OHRV and begins to trample uh, uh, certain areas, then then you have a problem there. 
uh, certain protected areas. So that might apply to that. Um, and that would also be a, uh, a misdemeanor. Would, would that cover damage to items that like, you know, like signs? Well, that I'll, I'll yeah, that, that covers that. It, it actually cites it specifically. If you go to um, that section under removal of defacing signs oh. or markers. So it, it makes it guilty of a makes that guilty of a misdemeanor, um, as well as uh, requirement for restitution. Uh, and I would imagine if you charged under this and you reached out to Fish and Game, they might they might uh, they have the authority to administratively suspend someone's OHRV privileges. So you that that's another uh, possibility. And then there's just the criminal, um, under the criminal law, 634, destruction of property or criminal mischief. Um, when someone purposely or recklessly damages the property of another. And depending on that loss, if it's in excess of $1,500, it becomes a, a felony, a Class B felony. Um, and this is to uh, damage to private or public property. Uh, and, and it's kind of interesting what we're talking about here is the vehicles, not, not OHRVs, that are causing the damage down to, at Sklar. Um, so if they were to be damaging, let's say, signs or um, so forth, they not only, did, that would, you could, um, if it's in a vehicle, you can request a loss of, 90-day loss of driver's license uh, for committing that type of offense. And, you know, and, and just to be clear, uh, class A misdemeanor is, is punishable by up to a year in jail and or a thousand dollar fine. A class B misdemeanor is uh, anywhere up to uh, twelve hundred dollar fine. So there's different levels of that and the violation level offenses maximum is a thousand dollar fine. So, um, so you have you have that uh, depending <laughs> on the circumstances excuse me that's real. Yeah. yeah. Um, and, you know, uh, so people need to understand what they're taking their risks doing, and, and hopefully it's explained to them. Um, but there's also criminal trespass depending on the circumstances. I mean, if you've been asked to, if they're, someone's out in a protected area that's been posted, and they've been asked to leave and then come back a second time, um, and, you know, that, that becomes criminal trespass. Or if they um, fail to follow a lawful order, um, to cease and desist some, uh, some type of improper activity, that could be disorderly conduct, which is a violation level offense. So you have that, and then you have um, suspension uh, for improper driving under 263.59, and the DMV can um, suspend without a hearing an individual who's driving improperly. Um, and I guess the, you have to make that determination and what a lot of, I think sometimes, I used to talk to driver's aid classes and talk to the youth operators up to the age of 20, um, and that if all it's simply, if, if, if an officer encounters somebody or a situation uh, with, a, um, uh, with a youth operator who's doing something improper, doesn't even have to be a general direct violation of the law um, in a motor vehicle, then he can just simply send a letter up to the Department of Motor Vehicles and they will send a notice and suspend that youth operator's license. So there's, there's, some, there's some issues that, uh, you know, or there's some, um, there's some legal actions that can be taken, you know. So, um, and that, I, you know, that doesn't even address the firearms issue. And hopefully uh, finishing Chapter 111 will uh, allow us some ordinances as well. So, um, so these are just, you know, just followed up on our discussion. You asked me to do a little research Thank on you. that. And uh, I can't, uh, you know, express enough, you know, people come across things that they don't feel are happening right. Do not engage. You know, snap a picture from far away, you know, and, and report it to police. I mean, we're not an enforcement body. Uh, we're, you know, we, we pass the information along to the police just like everyone else. So we want everyone to enjoy their outdoor endeavors. So. Uh, you know, absolutely. Yep. Avoid confrontation. Yeah. Avoid the confrontation. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Mike, do you have any? Uh, just to follow up on what he was saying, right? And, and there's an RSA about you need you need to have a person's permission to, to operate a ATV or a motorized vehicle on their property. 
Mm -hmm. um, and I was wondering, uh, it'd be neat if some, if uh, there was some way or some, maybe when the kiosk goes up, some information about those infractions uh, and their penalties might be appropriate. You know, something that's big enough that they wouldn't have to look for, you know. I, I would say uh -huh. yes, that's great, but, and I want to post it just so you can say it's posted, but I would bet the people that are causing the problem aren't going to stop to read that. No, I know, but that's why I was saying it's But, but it would be great to have it posted because then you say it's posted. It's mm -hmm. posted right there. They had, to, they had to drive right by it. Well, and maybe the people that do read it, if they're out there, yeah. they know and they're like, oh, well, yeah. we need to report this. I, I, would, I would love this. Right. Uh, and, and they had this one time when, uh, I forget what town, but it was when we had the uh, educational uh, thing in November and there was another town. <laughs> <laughs> was that when you were on the beach? Yeah, there was another town that had a riverfront property yeah, that right. I went to see. Uh, and they, they had, <laughs> I can't remember the town. Uh, they had a huge sign that said, if you see any of these activities, to call this phone number right away. The sign was like this big, high up on a tree. Um, <laughs> Keep going, Come on, you've got to finish the story. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, so, and then, um, right, the mortar, right came mortar bike came to by. <laughs> and one of the, Conservation Commissioner started chasing the bike, <laughs> going through. Uh, yeah. Was it Matt? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. It, was a, it was a motorbike. Oh. You can still out pedal it. Yeah. Um, but they had a, they actually had a sign, <laughs> yeah, what no. number to call if you see this activity, and and it really, they you know, they said they did cut down on it. They, that was unusual yeah. to have that motorbike go by. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> That's it was great timing. Yeah, yeah, it happened. Steve, do you have anything to add? I do not. Andy? No. Matt? No. Okay. I do not have anything either. I'll abstain a motion. <laughs> motion to adjourn. Second. Motion by Matt, second by Cindy. <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. 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 Have a great Thanksgiving. Yes. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank